For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special for Babies in one of the new colours which we have listed on the store which is called Denim. Make sure you go across to the store and see which new colours we've actually got available in this because they're lovely. You will need a 5mm crochet hook. Now this particular yarn does call for a 4mm but I felt going up to a 5mm was absolutely fine. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So for a newborn hat you're looking at it to measure between 12 and 14 inches in circumference. So if I just measure here this measures at around 6 inches and then you also want it to measure around 5 inches from the top of the hat to the base of the hat. Now depending on what your um, tension is like when you're crocheting this you might want to go either up or down. Um, a hook size in order to cater for your own particular tension. So to begin this you can either do a chain or you can do a magic circle. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, with a chain. So you want to start off by making your slip knot and inserting your hook. And we're going to start off by chaining three, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to insert our hook into the first chain. So your hook goes into that very first chain, you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and that will create your circle. So as I say you can either do the chain three and join or you can do um, a magic circle, it's totally up to you. So once we now have this circle made, um, it will be a very tight circle if you are just chaining three, but this just prevents there being a really big hole at the top of the hat. Um, you, If you feel that it's too small for you to work in, you can actually chain four um, and do a circle that way, but it's totally up to you. So you want to be making sure that you're working into this very center circle. And we're going to start off by chaining two, and this chain two is not actually going to class as a stitch. So what you are going to do is now do an additional 12 treble crochets into that very center circle. So remember I'm talking in UK terms, in the US that is a double crochet. So it's yarn over, insert your hook into that very center circle, grab the yarn and pull it through. You will have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through two loops. So that is your first one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So I'll just show you once more. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and pause the video and do 12 of those stitches in total and meet me back once you've finished. So I've now completed my first round and all that's left to do here is join. So I'm going to insert my hook into the top of this first stitch here, grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. And remember that that very first chain two did not class as a stitch. So we have a total of 12 stitches in this round. So what we're going to do now is chain two again, and again this is not classing as our first stitch, this is just to get us to the height of the stitch. So if we look at the bottom of this stitch just here, uh, we're going to do two treble crochets into that stitch and into each stitch around uh, this the last round. So in total we're going to end up with 24 stitches, so we're doubling this row. So your treble into that first stitch and then also another treble into that very same stitch. And then again we move into the top of the next stitch and we do a treble and then another treble. So you're going to repeat that all the way round until you have got to the beginning. If it helps, count as you're going through. So one, two, three, four, and remember that in that we're working all the way up to 24 stitches. So pause the video and I'll meet you back once you've worked your way around this round. 
So I've now worked my way all the way round. I have my chain two and my 24 stitches. Don't worry if you get to the end and it appears as if you've got a last stitch just here. This is actually this chain two. And what will happen is when we join, it actually helps the, um, the hat to sit a little bit better. So you're going to slip stitch into the top of that very first stitch. And that is the completion of your round two. And now we're going to chain two and make a start on round three. So what we're going to do in this round is increase this round into 36 stitches. So obviously that's not doubling, it's just adding half the amount again. So we're going to start off by doing our two trebles into this very first stitch. So the base of that chain two. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do one treble crochet into the next stitch and then two into the next stitch. So one and two. So we've just done one, two, three, four, five stitches and then we will go do one treble into the next space. So that's six. And then you would continue your way like that all the way around this round. So two stitches, one stitch, two stitches, one stitch, and you'll end up with 36 stitches. So pause the video and meet me back once you've worked your way around. So I've now worked my way around. I've done my 36 stitches and I'm going to join my um, first stitch to my last stitch by doing a slip stitch. So that is the completion of your round three and we're now ready for round four. So we're going to do what we've normally been doing and chain two just to get us up to the right height. And for this round, we're actually going to start um, leveling off. We don't need to create the top of the hat anymore. We're working around the sides. So we're only going to increase this round by two. So we're going from 36 to 38 stitches. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do our two treble crochets into this very first stitch and then we're going to do one treble crochet into the next 17 stitches. So one two three four Pause the video for a moment and work your way up to 17 and meet me back in just a moment. So now once you've done your 17 stitches, you'll start to see the um, hat turning into more of a hat shape. Um, after those 17 stitches, you're then going to go ahead and do two stitches into the next stitch. So if you remember, we did two at the beginning and now we're doing two on the opposite side and that is our additional two stitches. So now that we've done those two stitches, we are then gonna go ahead and do one treble into each of the spaces around here. So there'll be another 17 in total. So pause the video and meet me back once you've done those 17. So I've just finished those stitches and now I'm going to connect. And that is the end of round four. So chain two to begin round five. And the next rounds are gonna be super, super simple. So we are actually going to do 38 stitches all the way around, which is the amount of stitches we already have. So all that you do is you start off in that very same stitch that you've done your chain two, and then you do one treble crochet into each of the stitches around. Once you've come to the end you're going to connect and chain two and repeat this round again. So you're actually going to repeat this round another four times. So between five rows five to, to eight. I'm going to do rows five to eight and then I'm going to explain what you can do if you're measuring slightly short. Pause the video, you're going to chain two at the beginning of each row, do one treble crochet into each stitch, connect with a slip stitch at the end and then repeat. So you're doing this for rows five to eight, so that's another four rows. So pause the video and meet me back once you've built those four rows. 
So as you can see, I have now finished my rows one to eight. So I've added those four rows just here. And at this point, what you want to do is take your tape measure. And remembering we're aiming for around five inches. So if I just measure here, you can see that it's just short um, a little bit, but I'm actually gonna add a further finishing row just at the bottom here. But if yours was quite a bit off, what you could do is actually add another row of treble crochet just to um, extend it down a little bit. Um, so choose which you want to do, whether you want to carry on or just go for this finishing row. But if you're ready for the finishing row, what you want to do is you want to chain one and we are going to do a double crochet into every stitch around this row. So that's a UK term. In the US, this is known as single crochet. So as you can see, I've just done that chain one and what I'm actually going to do is do um, my stitches this time in between the stitches rather than in the very top and I just feel this tidies, as, tidies it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in between this stitch just here, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook, and then grab the yarn, pull through both loops on the hook, and then move over into in between that those next two stitches. So you're just going to do this all the way around until you get to the very beginning. So pause the video, work that stitch into each of the stitches and meet me back once you've finished. So once you have met yourself at the very beginning, you're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch and then you're going to yarn over and pull through. You're going to grab your scissors. You want to leave a good long thread, snip off your yarn and then you're going to sew this in. So once you've snipped off your yarn, just pull that through and then pull that nice and tight. And then all you have to do is sew this in. So once you've threaded up your needle, you want to weave this in to your work. And remember that you're going to be um, probably washing this or whoever you're giving this to is going to be washing this a fair bit. So you want to weave in to the work a good few inches. And then once you've weaved in one way, you want to go back the opposite way as well, an inch or so. And then go back the opposite way, an inch or so. And then I would probably say just once more, back the opposite way so that you know that it's really nice and secure. Once you've weaved it in, just give it a nice pull just to make sure it's not bunching up too much. And then you can snip off your thread. And there you have your little newborn beanie. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye. And then we're just going to do one treble into each space. Checking my sources. <laughs> Here's what I found on the web for in Siri and H space. No Have a look. Siri. That's not <laughs> Shut up, Siri.